All right, you primitive screw heads, listen up. This is my boomstick. Hi guys, Hans Armour here and today we're looking at the Captain Slug Flak. But before we start talking about this awesome blaster, please, if you're new to the channel, go hit that subscribe button or if you're not new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. Also, please leave a comment and a like if you want to. It helps the channel a lot and I love having conversations with you guys in my comment section. If you want a little more content from me, go check out my Instagram, which is at Hounds Armory, or you can just follow the link down in the description real quick. Uh, I post little sneak peeks of the things I'm working on as well as just little updates on what I'm doing down there. Um, that being said, let's finally talk about this beautiful blaster. Oh my gosh, I love this blaster. Where to start? Well, I like I like the cowboy thing. Um, the hammer shot in the Sweet Revenge is my favorite blaster ever, possibly. Maybe it's that thing. Link to the video on that thing down in the description below. And the magpie is so disappointing to me that mine doesn't work well. But I'm gonna fix it soon. I'm gonna try to, as well as the one that takes shells. I need one bad. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the flak, which of course, when I saw Captain Slug was working on a lever action design, I had to have one. Um, <laughs> just lever action prime in this hobby isn't very common. Um, there's the sling fire, and then it's weird pred or successor, and then there was the sentinel. Uh, but other than that, we don't have much. Oh, then there's the rapid fire thing that took Busby shells. But like that's all the lever action we ever got. So to get something that not only is community designed and built, but also modular as all get out and lever action uh, this was going to be my one of my favorite blasters ever um of course mine is not the regular flak mine has the old west stock off thingiverse links down in the description below and i'm currently set up for this under barrel inline rival honestly the reason i started here was for this was was for the top up and the the very Winchester esque, you know, one in the chamber, fill up your magazine kind of abilities. Yes, I am just I'm still getting used to it. I finished this build like two days ago, and um, well, let's just say I postponed some other videos because I wanted to make this one first. Um, I, as far as how I have it set up right now, again, I have the Old West stock with the slightly extended lever, which is good because I have kind of larger hands and I appreciate the extra room that that gives. I'm running three of the elastic bands that Slug comes with, uh, uh, gives you, and of course the standard inline rival front end. So now that I've gone over that, let's go and actually look at the build real quick and we'll be right back. root beer. Um, all right, so let's get into this build. Now at the time of building this, my actual hardware kit is out for delivery. So we're going to start just putting together the, I believe it's called the Wild West stock? What's it called? Old West stock. The files for this are on Thingiverse. There will be a link down in the description below. Um, that being said, Got my bag of sandpaper and files and stuff. So uh, we're gonna start getting this to fit together.
All right, well that cut out. Um, I did get the stock mostly put together. Uh, I m was missing these two dovetails, but they're getting off, run off the printer right now. And that is looking quite nice. And I also, the hardware kit also came. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna put together a, um, well, version of the flak right now. And we'll get going. Um, first off, yes, okay, hold on, put these over there. Um, I don't love the way Captain Slug ships the hardware where it's all bagged together. It makes it harder to knoll, so I'm probably just going to pull out the bigger bits, like, yeah, my ramrod, which I will make the half dart flak. Um, I just don't have the parts printed right now because I'm more excited about what I'm doing right now. I'm put that to the side along with our elastiques and boom. I think I know what that's for. And I'll kind of just dig through the bag as I need stuff because everything's kind of all jumbled together.
So a couple notes real quick on the build. Um, this stock, uh, I lost a lot of that build footage for it. It's a little bit of a pain to get together. Um, it takes a lot of filing and sanding and patience. Um, but I think I got it together in like an hour and a half. Just the stock. I think for me it's definitely worth the work, but just keep that in mind if you're on the fence about the stock and are a little scared of all that finishing work with printed parts. Maybe just go with the mare's leg design and don't go without a stock. Um, I think Slug's stock design is a little too short for to be very useful. Um, the second note is that uh, I had to extend this lever linkage. Um, this linkage uh, is what connects the lever which primes the blaster back here to whatever your front end is and in this case uh, uh, importantly operates the elevator in the maggot well now because it was too short uh, it could not push the elevator down far enough to release the catch on the rival magazine releasing a ball um, so I ended up uh, extending the linkage I think three millimeters and now it works great um, as I might have said before I'm currently running three bands on it I think it is a nice stiff prime weight that and I still don't have a chronograph I'm trying I'm thinking about getting one soon because I know everyone likes good chronograph numbers uh, so I can't tell you exactly what I'm hitting FPS wise right now, but it's it's nice and popping. Um, that being said, uh, one band is a little too weak for at least the system I have right now where I don't have a much of a barrel seal at all between uh, both ends of the pusher. Uh, but I think if you want, especially if you wanted to fully dedicate your flak to a specific ammo type, you could very closely get a perfect seal on this thing. Um, so with one band, it doesn't work too great. With two, it works okay, it works fine. Um, if I was gonna run this inside, I'd probably drop it down to two bands, but three gives you good power and four is hard to prime. Um, even with the extended lever and like you see some often, I'll flip my hand over to get more force going into the prime. Uh, four, four bands is a little much. Um, so what am I gonna do with this thing? Well, I'm going to primary it everywhere I go. Um, a while ago, I did a video on a loadout that was the scavenger loadout. Links, go watch it. So it's, it's a cool loadout, and uh, which basically boils down to my first line gear and a backpack with a Camelback in it or a water bottle. And I really like that because it's light and it's good for wars with many, many rounds or a very long game type where at the end you're gonna end up scavenging ammo anyway. This is a perfect blaster for that situation um, because you can run super light and even like I'm doing right now, just pulling rounds out of my pocket, you can constantly top up this magazine. Now I know Captain Slug designed the, he calls it the Rival Burn 3 which is a rival caliber that uses the same magazine system. Uh, and I know Mr. Nathan was talking to him about using it for his indoor arena, uh, where you don't often need more than 10 rounds and the ability to top up is faster than carrying a bunch of magazines on you. Again, this is a situation where I think this would glow. Now, uh, the other thing I'm excited about is with my half dart loadout, I am printing the Talon Magwell because I think this would be a blast to run as a sharpshooter roll in an HVZ. Um, of course, if you're at a smaller HVZ or you prefer the scavenging really light loadout, I would run it like this um, with this rival setup. Or if you just prefer rival but you want a better magazine reload, go with the vertical rival magazine. I prefer darts over rival rounds. I always struggle to hit things with rival, so I'm hoping this blaster kind of changes my mind there because I love this blaster 
too much to not be able to hit anything with it, right? You are going to hit things for me, right? Okay, just checking. So, those are my current ideas with this blaster beyond just enjoying it. Um, it's really fun, and it's not too bad of a build. Like most of Captain Slug's things, the instructions are immaculate. The prints and the tolerance on the prints is great. Um, with this blaster, when you get away from Slug's designs, especially with the stock, it's not as easy to get together, but still doable. So, um, yeah, 11 out of 10 would recommend. Get yourself a flak. Links in the description. Tell them I sent you. Hi guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like or even a comment. I love talking to you guys down in my comments. If you want more content from me or want to support the channel, go check out my Instagram, which is at Helms Armory. Again, link in the description below, as well as check out my merch shop at Teespring, as well as my Patreon. There's some really cool perks over on my Patreon, as well as some um, things that are about to be posted there. Now to the thing I want to talk about. I am about to hit 400 subscribers as of filming this video. So if you, my fans, my viewers, could get me to 450 subscribers before my next video, I may have a surprise in store. So please share my videos around to all your friends, family, whoever. Get your dog to watch them. And I will see you all next time.